hello friends so here we will continue our discussion on direct map gas so last video we were discussing this particular one that means the main memory address has got two parts one is block address one is offset block address will tell which block contains your data item and inside the block where the data item is is there that can be obtained by the offset phase now see for this particular data item whose block address is this in which particular block of the main me sorry cache memory it will be found that can be obtained by this index field so directly we will go to the cache in this particular index then we will see whether the tag stored in this block is matching with the tag of my incoming address if they are matching as well as my valid bit is 1 then we conclude a hit else it is a miss if it is hit, we'll get the data from the this data block, right? So a block address is further divided into index and take that I have mentioned how to get the index for the block address mode, cache block, number of blocks in the cache, right? And tag must be also stored. See, along with your data inside the block, we used to store tag, valid bit and all. Dirty bit is also block wise. So a valid bit is also required to indicate whether the cache is uh, the cache block is valid or not right so to conclude a hit valid bit must be one for the block apart from tag matching right this conclusion we need to remember and what is the significance of valid bit what it represents exactly that i will discuss very shortly then next is we'll discuss how to get the addresses and all Suppose my main memory address length is B plus W bits. B part indicate block address, W indicates the offset, right? Then number of, number of addressable unit will be what? 2 raised to the power B plus W will be the words or bytes. If it is byte addressable, it is byte. If it is word addressable, then it is word. So what I said, addressable unit. Then uh, what is my block size? Block size is 2 to the power W, right? And block, another synonym is line also. So block size equal to line size. In gate numericals, it is mentioned mostly line. Line is nothing but a block. So what will be the block size? 2 to the power W words or bytes. Then number of blocks in the main memory. So see, number of locations in the main memory is 2 to the power B plus W. B plus W number of say bytes are there. Then size of each block is what? 2 to the power W. Then what is the number of blocks? Total number of bytes divided by size of each block. That will give me what? Number of blocks in the main memory. So this divided by this will give me number of blocks. So if I do this simple arithmetic, what I will get? 2 to the power B plus W minus W is nothing but 2 to the power B. Right? So B number of bits will be required to represent the block address. Next is number of blocks in the cache. Say if it is k, then what we will do, we will represent this k in powers of 2. And whatever exponent will come, that will be nothing but your length of your index bit. Length of your index bit. So see, size of cache memory will be 2 plus r plus w. This index bits will tell me how many blocks will be there in the cache memory. But what is the total size of the cache? Blocks into size of each block and what I said whatever is the size of block in the main memory the same size block will be there in cache because my unit of transfer is what block so in same unit will do the transfer so in my cache memory 2 to the power r number of blocks are there and inside one block we have got 2 to the power w number of bytes or words so, as a whole, my size of cache for storing data is 2 to the power r plus w because 2 to the power r into 2 to the power w is nothing but 2 to the power r plus w. Then what will be the number of bits for the tag? So, see, because we need to find out now how many bits are there in each of the field. So, total address we know, what is that? b plus w, right? And then uh, this one, offset field is what? w. And your index bit is what? And this total is what? This total we said B. And index is what? R. So what is tag? Tag will be B minus R. From this part only if I want to do, then it is B minus R.
from the whole of it also i can do that time i need to subtract index plus offset both so uh, and see what is the significance of tab that we need to understand properly our main memory is bigger compared to our cache memory so many blocks of the main memory will be the contender for the same position in the cache so how many blocks of the main memory will occupy will have the same position in the cache that is actually indicated by the tag field higher order tag field so size of tag is what 2 to the power b minus r that is 2 to the power b by 2 to the power r it is nothing but it will indicate how many blocks of the main memory will occupy the same position in the cache so that way i can find out using what number of blocks in the main memory what is that 2 to the power b divided by number of blocks in the cache that will actually give me how many blocks of the main memory will occupy the same position in the cache and if i express that quantity in powers of 2 whatever exponent will come that is the number of bits required for the tag field so basically by checking tag bit what we are doing we are checking whether the block i am looking for is this one or not because i have one tag this block has also one tag if both the tags are matching that means here in the cache the block that i am looking for is currently present if the tag is not matching that means some another contender of the same position is currently occupying the cache this is the meaning of tag matching with every block we used to store tag tag is not byte wise or word wise tag is per block valid bit is also per block that we need to remember so now we will see one example say my cache memory consists of what 128 blocks so how many bits do i require to represent a block 128 blocks are there right that is it is k in my previous example it was k then what will be r then 2 to the power r should be equal to k so 2 to the power 7 equal to 128 so seven number of bits i require to represent a block number inside a block how many words are there 16 so inside a block inside a block to get one particular data item how many bit offset i require four bits where from four is coming this 16 words 16 words you express it in powers of 2 then this four so four bits will be requiring to represent our word field and 128 means 2 to the power 7 so 7 bits will be required to represent what block number and the total size of cache is what 2k words right and main memory is 16 bit addressable that means how many locations it can generate different addresses 2 to the power 16 main memory has so how many words it will be having if it is word addressable machine 2 to the power 16 2 to the power 16 means what 2 to the power 6 into 2 to the power 10 so it is what 64 and it is what k so 64 k words will be there in the main memory so if my block size in the cache is 16 words same size block will be there in the cache memory also sorry main memory also so in main memory number of words is 64 k and size of each block is what 16 words right so if i'll divide this by this so it is what 2 to the power 16 by 2 to the power 4 will give me what 2 to the power 12 so 4k 2 means what 4 2 to the power 10 means what k so 4k that is 4096 number of blocks are there in the main memory so do understand in your main memory we have got 4096 number of blocks in the cache how many blocks were there 128 so see many blocks of the main memory will be the contender for the same position in the cache memory so tag is going to play a big role here right so and how many bits do i require to identify my block number 7 bits where from i am getting 7 from this number of blocks right express it in powers of 2 whatever is exponent that is that will be the number of bits required to represent a block field right so see whatever example we have taken according to that in main memory how many blocks are there 
4096. So starting from zero, last number will be what? 4095. Total will be what? 4096. That is that is 4k number of blocks are there in the cache. Sorry, main memory. So and what is the length of my main memory address? It will be 16 bit, right? Because we know our main memory size is what? Your uh, the already it is given 64k. 64k means 16 bits will be the address. Now this address will be divided into three part. One is word. Word is word is nothing but that offset. Block fill will indicate which block will contain this address. And tag fill will indicate uh, means uh, the tag fill for this block has to match with the tag fill of the cache for this particular block in the cache. Then only we can say it is a hit, right? And tag will be there for each block in the cache memory. And in a in our cache memory, how many blocks were there? One twenty eight. Numbering starts from zero. So where till it will go? One twenty seven. So one twenty seven blocks are there, and one twenty seven tags will be also there. This much is clear. Now see my sixteen bit address has got three parts. One is word field. Where from I'll get the value of the length of word field depending on the block size. It is already mentioned that your block size is 16 words. You express it in powers of two, we'll get it as a four bit. Then how many blocks are there in the cache? 128. Express it in powers of two, that is two to the power seven. So next seven bits will be nothing but number of block field, right? The length of the block field, right? And then. How to get the tag field? One very simple technique I can apply. Total length of my address is 16 minus 7 plus 4 will give me my tag field. What is that? 5. So tag field length will be 5 bit. This much I understand. And another way of finding 5 bit is how the number of blocks in the main memory that is 4k divided by number of blocks in the cache that is 128, right? So it is nothing but two to the power twelve. This one is two to the power seven. So what I will get? Two to the power five. So my exponent is five. So five bit tag field. So this indicates thirty two blocks of the main memory will be the contender for the same position in the cache memory, right? So see. Then how to get means that where this block zero will go in the cache memory, right? So this we can find out easily that block J of the main memory will be mapped to J modulo 128. That is block number of main memory modulus. What is that? Number of blocks in the cache. It is 128, never 127. 127 is the block last block's number only. But numbering starts from zero. So total number of block is 128. So J modulo 128. 0 modulo 128 will give me what? Zero. So this block will map to block zero of the cache. One twenty-eight modulus zero. One twenty-eight modulus one twenty-eight will give me what? Zero. So this block will also occupy the same position in the cache. Do understand? At the same time, two blocks of the main memory cannot occupy the same position in the cache. What I am trying to say? They have the same position in the cache. So if this block is already present and this block I am referring. Then this block has to be sent back to the main memory, creating a room for the incoming block. That I am trying to say. So zero maps to zero. One twenty nine will map to what? Block number one, as well as block number one of the main memory will also occupy to. Will also get this. So by this color also you can make out same color blocks will occupy the same position in the cache, right? Then next is so what we have seen here. More than one memory block is mapped onto the same position in the cache that you have already seen. This zero, this one, two fifty six, like this. So exact multiples of one twenty eight will go to block number zero. Then your one one twenty nine next number two fifty uh, this seven and all will go to block number one, right? So now see may lead to contention for cache blocks if the cache is. Even if the cache is not full, please do understand this statement. This is very very important, right? What is important is that see block zero will have has the same position zero in the cache memory, right? Now suppose some blocks are free in the cache. Now after some time, I want to refer to the data item present in block number two fifty six. So where I need to see in block number zero only. 
टू फिफ्टी सिक्स मॉड वन 